Hey guys, welcome back to this course in which we're going to learn about just some basic math stuff we can do uh, with our fields. And let's jump right away with our debug.log function. If you remember guys, what we did is uh, the debug.log writes something in the console and then what it writes depends on what it is being sent. The way you send something to a function is by just by typing something in um, the parentheses here. Now, we sent earlier, we sent my name, which resulted in having a debug.log saying Michael because my name is equal to Michael, like defined here. Now let's switch that up and put a live count instead. If we just do it like this and we press on the play, when we run the game, it says 3. The reason it says 3 is because it's looking in the code. Okay, so debug.log writes something in the console. What you're going to write is live count. Now live count is equal to 3, like we've defined at the top here. If we are inside of our start, and we decide to just uh, tell life count to equal something else like 4 it's gonna write 4 and the reason it does that is because you have the start at the very beginning you read the first line the first line says life count is now equal to 4 and then you do a debug.log however if you were to take that line and you put it beneath the debug.log then we run it would still say 3 because at the time that uh, the debug.log happened life count was still equal to 3 and then it got assigned to 4 so if you have those two lines like this it's going to say 3 and then 4 as you can tell down here now at this point we should be playing with the value a little bit so life count we said it's equal to 4 what if we say life count is equal to life count plus 1 now you have an addition right here because life count is actually equal to int so it's equal to an actual number in this case 3 plus 1 so life count is going to end up being 4 if we have a look at the console really quickly it says 4 now what if we do something else such as life count times 2 at this point in the code on line 15 life count is still equal to 3 so 3 times 2 is equal to 6 we run the code, life count is now equal to 6. Let's actually do something else now. So we've done uh, a simple plus, we've done a simple multiplication. We can do both. So let's do something like life count plus 2 times 2. Now at this point, the uh, basic mathematic uh, priority just applies here. So everything that is uh, multiplied is going to be run first and then you just do the uh, normal addition. So it says 7 here and the reason it says 7 is because 2 times 2 here it does 4 so 3 plus 4 is 7. So just like basic mathematics if you just want to say life count plus 2 so you just want to say 5 times 2 you have to wrap this up in parentheses like this so this time it's going to do life count plus 2 that is equal to 5 5 times 2 is going to equal to 10 so just again like basic mathematics and we can go back here have another look at what else we can do we have multiple things we can do now something else that you can do with simple int values is that you can put a plus plus next to it this is going to take the current life count value in this case 3 and then add 1 to it because of the plus plus operator so like this it says 3 plus 1 life count is now equal to 4 and that's one that one is a little bit um, weird to understand at first because uh, it doesn't have like the equal sign but as you can tell it still works and this also works with minus minus so if you go like this then life count is equal to 3 life count is equal to 4 and it's back to 3 when we write this in the console it says 3 again okay so let's have a look at another one uh, another operation that you can do with pretty much all type of values like all basic type of values you can type in something like life count is plus equal to say 5 plus equal operator is going to add up to the current value it also works the other way around so you can do a minus equal now let's have a look at this so life count right now is equal to 3 plus equal 5 so that's going to be 6 7 and 8 and you have a look at the game now it is equal to 8 and if you just do this again let's try this again so plus equal 2 this time at this moment life count is equal to 3 
the line is being run, it's now equal to 8. And then on this line, life count is equal to 8 plus equal to, so it's going to end up uh, being worth 10. And again, console says 10. So that is some really basic operation we can do, some really basic mathematical operation we can do around the int. We can also do it around the float. Uh, it's pretty much the same exact thing, so uh, plus equal works. The uh, plus plus also works if you want to write that instead. Like in this case, if we were to put speed in a the debug.log, then the debug.log would say 3.5 because we've added 1 to our 2.5 value. The next one is the boolean. Let's have a look at the boolean. This one is a little bit different. Um, boolean can only have two values like we said earlier. It can only be false or it can only be true. So if you're trying to say is running is equal to 5, the compiler is not going to accept it. As you can tell, we have this little red line beneath my value. It says we cannot convert int to boolean because this is the int that we write here. If we were to write something like 5.5, it would say cannot convert float to boolean. In this case, we have to give it a true or a false. There can only be those two values, nothing else. Now, like I mentioned, we can only have two values. You can only have the true or the false. However, you can point towards another boolean. And the way we do this, you could be saying is running is equal to is running. Right, that doesn't do anything because, you know, is running by default is true. And it's going to say is running is now equal to true. It's already true by default. And if you just quit. Right, so this is not really useful because is running is already equal to is running. It's the same exact thing, right? And um, something you can do to negate a value, something you can do to just reverse a boolean is by typing the exclamation mark operator in front of it. So the way you have it set up right now, is running is equal to true. And then on this line, it's going to say is running is equal to is not running. So basically false. And it's simply going to reverse those value. If we hit play here, it says false. So is running is equal to false at this time. And that is pretty much all you need to know about booleans. They're really simple, they're only two value. Now the next one we're gonna have a look at is a string. My name is equal to one. We can't do that because we're trying to convert a int to a string. Like we said earlier, a string must have double quotes. So my name is equal to say hello world. This is going to work because we're just overwriting um, the last string we had. So if we just debug.log this, it's going to say hello world. Really simple, right? Now, operation you can do on that, there is multiple operation. There is like a bunch of operation, but let me just show you the one we use the most. Now, let's have a look at this. We can actually add up strings together. If we just type in hello plus another string, just like um, world, like this, then we end up having two strings that just collapse together. So this one is going to say, hello world. Let's have a look. And it says, hello world again. Now, something really cool you can do is you can replace one of those by, say, a field. In this case, we have my name up here. So why not do hello plus my name? So in this case, my name is going to equal hello plus, and then we have a look up here. It says Michael. So we go back in the game. We play this, it says, hello Michael, without space, and it is because we never really put any space anywhere. It just matches those two strings together. So it just takes the string, uh, this one, and puts this one next to it. If, if we wanted to have a space, we could type it in here, or type it in the name itself. And you can also add more to this, so hello Michael, and we can add an exclamation mark at the end just by typing this in. We're adding another string, that's three string being added up together. That is three different strings being added up together just like a normal equation. There is also the possibility of doing a plus equal. So let's just say that uh, my name is equal to Michael. We would do something like declare a new string that is going to be used only for the start. We're going to call message. This message is going to equal to nothing, right? Just an empty string. doesn't have to put a space. You just leave it like that. Then you can do message plus equal hello space then message plus equal my name, and then message plus equal the exclamation mark. So this way, we create this uh, field right here that is only going to last 
for the duration of the scope, in this case, the start function. So this string message only lasts from this line, where it's being declared, to the end of the scope, which is on line 21. Now this is going to work because the message you write is only being used in the start, so it's only being used in here. If you wanted to use your message in the update as well, you'd have to go back one step. So you have to go right here and declare your string message and then play with that value instead. But since we're never really leaving the start right here, we're allowed to do something like that. So string message is equal to nothing, we just have an empty string, and then we add hello, just like this, so empty plus hello, and then we move on to the next line which says plus equal my name. So we still have hello and the space, we plus equal Michael to it. And then on the last line, we still have whatever we put in the message at first. So hello, space, Michael, and then we can add our very last string, which just adds an exclamation mark. We play this, and we should now have hello, Michael, with an exclamation mark. And that is going to be pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm, I'm trying to just make them short, so if you have any question, you can leave them in the comment section below. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave me a like on the video. It helps quite a lot. Check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me with pretty much all the course I'm going to do here on the channel. And other than that, please subscribe, check out the next episode, and I will see you guys next time.